hold the environment itself. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, Dad used to go in the evening, uh, make a fine aloku, lead the prayers, and now he has to go to the nightclubs. It's unacceptable to be hitting each other, um, either way. Um, we could talk about things, we could speak about it to try to find solutions, but hitting each other is unacceptable. And then the mother used to sit down and make sure that uh, she keeps out the, the starting note for him. No, instead of doing that, playing bingo, leaving only the, pair, only the kids at home themselves. There is an influx of technology, new ideas, and I can safely say part of it that really ignited some of this uh, violent act that took place in town was culture shock, if I, may, if I may say so. I found out that most of the students that were involved in violent act like that, they were from, they're from the rural areas. If a kid is raised up in a kind of environment like that, for sure, applying violence on another student, it's nothing to them because they're used to it, it's part of their lives. They, yeah, they do not respect their, their parents. And some uh, children, when they were angry with their parents, they went away. They live with other family members uh, uh, far from their family. And some uh, have decided not to go to school anymore. So they call the police for help. So I told him, what have you been doing to your children? Do you want us to say something or to, to, to guide your, 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 your children and to tell them what to do? What about you? What are you doing? For most of the problems that we are facing is, uh, please will you come over and help my, my children? And please uh, will you come over and take my my son was very drunk and keep, the, the, uh, and keep him at your, at your premises. So I also I, I told him, this is not a place for, for anybody to, to come here and sleep. I think that gender-based violence is very much based in what we call the patriarchy and so um, a man having more power than the woman and also society saying that men have more power than women. So um, sometimes it can be culturally bound, sometimes it can be passed down from family, but in my mind gender-based violence is, is most perpetrated through men that believe that they have more power than the woman and that they can do these things. Social media is 100%, I fully support social media. But it's the way that people use. Social media is a very important form of communication. It has a lot of value in education. We just need to weed out the negative aspect of it. And I guess one of the way we, ways in which we can do that is education. Uh, that the students do not uh, get into the negative aspect of social media and I don't think it's a good idea to blame social media to any extent don't take a vele as your call because when you take a vele as your call then that's it you cannot think of any other step outside a vele or after a village. We had given them a lot of advices. We had given them a lot of chances because we know their parents did not tell them to do this. But it was them alone. <laughs> We cannot enforce a violence policy in a school if I don't address it with the teachers first. Because 
as far as I know, no matter how much we preach and tell the students, instruct students that this place is violence, uh, zero violence, but if the teachers are doing it, then I, I don't think uh, it's a success. As a man, how I can end gender-based violence in my sphere, how to talk about how uncool gender-based violence is and how equality is a really important um, topic of discussion with everybody around us. We think that there's no option to, because if we keep on telling them not to do and not to do this and not to do this, and for them not to be taken before court, they will continue to do this. You, you have to fill up here. If this one is empty, too bad. You'll be out in, over there in the villages right now, listening to the Matais, the villager. And I said, you know, when you're out from here, I feel sorry for you because we want you to go to National University of Samoa, but we don't want to go to the University of the World. The University of the World is go back to the Maumanga and listen to the Fanangu.